The animation begins by showing with an electric atmosphere at the football stadium. At that time, the fans are eagerly waiting for the penalty kick from the famous footballer, Slotin Ibrahimovic. Luckily, he scores, much to the delight of the crowd. After the match, Rob, a sports commentator, interviews the players. He first talks to Slotin, who confidently predicts that he will win the All-Star Cup. Then, Rob interviews a scientist and football enthusiast named Weird Al who also thinks he has what it takes to win the trophy. At that time, he thinks this is ridiculous, but Weird Al wishes for a way to genetically engineer the talents of football players. Meanwhile, Rob spots some fans wearing suspiciously bulky coats and walking in an odd manner. To his surprise, he discovers four kids who've sneaked into the stadium and quietly made their way to the dressing room. They're Nodai, Odang, Palio, and Zana. But instead of finding the players they were hoping to meet, they stumble upon Slotin himself. Zana shows off her impressive goalkeeping skills, which takes Slotin by surprise. However, he thinks her juggling skills are just average. When Nodai sees her friend being underestimated, she challenges Slotin to a juggling battle. It turned out that the children called themselves creature catchers. They worked as pest control and were eager to get tickets to the All-Star Cup game. Unfortunately, they couldn't get any tickets because they were all sold out. Despite this setback, the famous soccer player Slotin was impressed by their teamwork and offered them a free ticket to the game. Excited about the opportunity, Slotin went to his locker to retrieve his ticket. However, he became distracted by a gift that was waiting for him. When he opened it, he discovered it was just a plain ball, which he threw away in disappointment. Meanwhile, Odang sensed that something was wrong and went to check on Slotin. He discovered that Slotin was searching for a mysterious green object that had attached itself to his back and was spreading to his hair. Soon after, the other children joined Odang and were shocked to see that Slotin had transformed into a mutant and then disappeared. Panicking, the children called the police but their pleas for help were ignored. They knew it was up to them to find Slotin and stop the villain who had turned him into a mutant. Though afraid, the children banded together to face their fears and search for a way to find Slotin before returning to their headquarters to prepare for the mission. However, Nodai requested a break and they decided to play ball. On the other hand, news of Slotin's mutation spread on the radio, and a mysterious listener named Mr. X called in, claiming responsibility for the mutation. Mr. X planned to replace other all-star soccer players by giving them the same gift box that had transformed Slotin. Meanwhile, as the sun was just rising over Megan Rapinoe's house, she stepped outside to play with her dog. Suddenly, the doorbell rang and she was handed a gift which was a soccer ball. Excited to play with it, she kicked it around, not realizing that there was green slime inside. Soon after, her dog came running over to investigate, and Megan quickly realized that the slime was dangerous as the dog almost swallowed a green slug. Without hesitation, she kicked the slug against the wall and watched as it disappeared onto the ceiling. Meanwhile, Slotin was still missing, despite secretly helping the scattered creature catchers. At that time, he had planned to surprise them but couldn't find the right opportunity. Then, Nodai requested a break, and as she sat down, she made a loud farting noise. The sound reached Slotin and transformed her into a human, even though it was just a fart pillow toy. Curious about the gift Megan had received, Slotin went to the nearest shop to find out who sent it. However, he was disappointed to learn that the shop owner had played a prank on him, and he transformed into a mutant in anger. As for the creature catchers, they received a call from Megan about a pest problem and rushed to her house. While they were there, they heard a scream coming from the statue where Megan was hiding. But when they tried to investigate, she shooed them away as she wasn't sure they could get rid of the slugs. Elsewhere, Slotin was secretly trailing Weird Al, who suspected him of being the culprit behind a bounty. Weird Al was not just opening his new hospital but also held the position of mayor. At that time, Slotin was pleased to see him, as many people in the town were afraid of the mad scientist. There, he was surprised to see that Weird Al's ponytail was talking. It turned out that snails had bitten Slotin's hair, which was Weird Al's doing. Then, Ponytail asked Slotin to team up against Weird Al. On the other hand, Megan caught a whiff of cake from someone's house and couldn't resist the temptation to sneak in and eat it. Unfortunately, she was caught and beaten up by the creature catchers, who tangled her up in electric cables. Fortunately, she managed to free herself and run away. Meanwhile, Nodai was sad because she missed her chance to take selfies with her idol. Later on, Megan returned, drooling over everyone's heads. Suddenly, Odang curled up into a ball and threw himself at Zana and Palio. Shortly after, Nodai and Megan cornered him until he let out a loud fart and fell asleep on a pillow. It turned out that sound could trigger mutations, according to Palio. Back to Slotin. So, finally, he managed to break into Weird Al's house. He believed that Weird Al could help him undo whatever was done to him. But Weird Al had other plans. He wanted a slug to absorb Slotin's talent and transfer it to his own body so he could become the greatest all-star player of all time. 
At that moment, Slotin knew this was wrong and tried to stop him. Suddenly, a fight broke out and unfortunately, Slotin lost. There, he was caught and chained up. Shortly after, Weird Al attempted to remove the snail from Slotin's hair, but to his surprise, it had fused with it. This caused Ponytail, who was on Slotin's side, to attack Weird Al and allow Slotin to run away. However, Weird Al was determined to get rid of the snail, even if it meant cutting off Slotin's hair. Soon after, Ponytail tried to stop him, but Weird Al used a bone saw to cut off the hair, weakening Slotin's body in the process. Fortunately, it allowed Ponytail to break free and fight Weird Al. However, Ponytail decided not to return to Slotin's hair, despite needing it to stay strong. Instead, he was happy to stay with Slotin and fight alongside him. In the end, Weird Al managed to get his hands on a mutant slug from Megan's head and eliminated it. At the same time, Not I was there to witness it all and even took a selfie with Megan. Meanwhile, Slotin was left without his hair, but Ponytail was still by his side, making him feel like he was not alone. After that, Megan breathed a sigh of relief, grateful for the fart pillow that had saved her. But their mission was not yet over. They had to take the creature catchers to the stadium where the football players refused to play with mutants. Soon after, Palio divided the tasks between the team members. He and Zana set out to find Slotin while Nodai and Odang accompanied Megan to the stadium. Upon arrival, they faced ridicule from female soccer players who found the fart pillow to be a joke. Shortly after, Megan stood up for Nodai and the debate became heated. But Megan's defense put an end to the bullying. They then began testing the players one by one. So, the first player, number 12, passed the test without any issue. But the woman with the back number 4 immediately removed her fart pillow, signaling that she was a mutant. Meanwhile, Slotin was training hard to regain his talent. But despite his efforts, he failed and broke down in tears. Soon after, Palio and Zana found him in this state and tried to comfort him. It turned out Slotin had lost his talent because Weird Al had stolen it. At that moment, he felt helpless. But Palio encouraged him, reminding him that he was still Slotin, with or without his talent. This lifted his spirits, and with the help of two children, he began to play ball and rediscover his talent. The next day, Slotin, Palio, and Zana headed to the stadium. They made their way to the locker room where they met Megan, Nodai, and Odang. At that time, the creature catchers were thrilled to play ball with the all-star players, especially Slotin and Megan. However, they were challenged by Weird Al, who was already flaunting his skills. There, he proposed a deal that if his team won, he would take all the players' talents, but if the all-star team won, he would return them. Hearing that, both sides agreed, and the game began with a human-sized snail as the ball. However, Weird Al's team had a strong start, but Zana stepped up and started to block their kicks. Then, Palio even managed to score a goal, and Odang's kicks were earning points as well. The all-star team slowly caught up and tied the game with Megan's kick. However, in the last second, there was a closing kick that would determine the winner. In the end, the all-star team emerged victorious, much to the delight of the fans and players. But then, something strange happened. Ponytail that had been attached to Weird Al's hair suddenly freed itself and crawled into his mouth. It announced that it didn't want to return to Slotin's hair, but instead it had mutated. Then, Weird Al took responsibility for his mistake and begged Ponytail, pretending to be its mama, to stop. But it was too late, as Ponytail had already devoured him. Shortly after, Ponytail and Slotin's hair met and Ponytail suggested that they join forces to absorb the skills of other talented players, becoming the greatest players ever. However, Slotin refused to share his glory, which angered Ponytail so much that he swallowed Slotin's hair whole. Soon after, Odang, Nodai, and the rest of the crew teamed up to fight Ponytail. At the same time, Megan landed a kick right in his eye, blinding him. Suddenly, Ponytail's shimmering skin provided a chance for the creature catchers to hop onto his poisonous tail. With one final hit, Ponytail exploded and scattered its insides everywhere. Miraculously, Slotin and Weird Al emerged unscathed. After the intense battle, the trophy was tucked away at the creature catcher's headquarters, where they all played ball together. But Slotin noticed something was off that there were no longer any snails in his hair. The animation ends. The moral lesson of this animation is that it's never a good idea to open a mysterious gift, especially if it's a soccer ball with green slime inside. Also, if you're a famous soccer player, never throw away a plain ball that might contain a mysterious gift, or you might end up turning into a mutant. And finally, always trust your fart pillow toy because it might hold the power to turn mutants back into humans.